Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's video, we're going to be talking about project pen or project penning. And um, I filmed about three weeks ago my first ever video that I devoted to this topic. And I got this suggestion from one of my subscribers, Dark Moon. Yeah, this time I hope that that's the correct version of the name. I'm so sorry for calling it like Blue Moon. I don't know. It's just like if it gets into my mind it's really hard to get rid of some some name that i memorized okay let's talk a little bit about um different type of products i don't know how it's right to do this videos this type of videos but i do know that i have a few products that i want to share in my channel at the moment and uh, how long i've been using them unfortunately i threw away my nevia cream like nevia moisturizer i ran out of this product i had like some leftovers and i did like the whole cleaning in my apartment this Saturday so I got rid of so many different stuff and I didn't even think of filming this because it's just I cannot get used to the fact that I have to film a lot of things on camera uh, the first product that I ran off was from Dove this is the gel that I showed you maybe a couple of months ago this was my holy grail and uh, I still like it but I found a little bit different option it's a little bit cheaper than this one because it has only four point 4.1 Oz or 120 milliliters of this product. That's why it's pretty expensive. It actually, after all this um, situation that has happened in the world, uh, the prices have become insane. That's why, you know, we have to choose from different options. That's why I'm out of this product. I'm so happy. I've, of course, I have like some tiniest like leftovers. But, you know, just like when I try to get them, they get stuck in this pump. That's why it's almost impossible to get rid of this. The next product that I want to share is this Hello Good Stuff 3-in-1 Face Mist Hydrate and Fix and Refresh. Uh, this product I bought in December, if I'm mistaken, maybe in January. And I'm out with this product. I've been using this for almost like five months uh, straight. And of course, I've been using here and there are some other setting sprays but i love this product because it doesn't have a lot of um, artificial smells and a lot of artificial things that in my opinion can damage the skin yeah i can find any alcohol which is something that i really love because a lot of setting sprays that do contain alcohols and i'm not talking about good alcohol that can actually moisturize your skin but i'm talking about alcohol that are drying your skin it's it's made for makeup to prevent creasing to prevent oiliness but still your oils are going to come out eventually and you might have some irritation and dryness that's why i love this one i actually bought another hello good stuff product this one has like 92 natural ingredients and this one has 90 natural ingredients that's why it's interesting like the difference two percent which is not bad both products i really like both products i use before my makeup and after my makeup it's really similar to morphe i'd say setting spray because you can use the setting spray from morphe as your base and as your setting spray both products i've been using for maybe four five months now i'm moving to a little bit different products um i've been using my black pencil this one is from mac i'm not sure if it's mac or if it's like some dupe but i i'm pretty much sure that i've been using this a lot and i'm out of this product like i have no actual black pencil i have some leftovers and if you can if you open this of course you can see these leftovers but it's so uncoverable i feel like i'm scratching and that's not what i really want to do to my eyes and my under eye area because if i get any scratchiness in your eyes so at first i'm gonna irritate my skin badly second of all i might get a lot of creasing because of that as for my next product this is from essence i've been using this product a lot on my channel a lot in my daily routine as well this is brown dark brown pencil i've been using this one a lot i guess more than one or two years and it's not because i do not use that but it's just the color was a little bit different it had some undertone like red undertone that's why i didn't really like this pencil especially for my brows for my brows i love some ashy kind of like blondy undertones though i'm not blonde i'm out of this product you can see that i do have some leftovers but again i can um i cannot use it because it's just it's too sharp and when i try to sharpen this i'm out of this product actually underneath you don't have anything and just it's, it's impossible to use then to another product this one is from makeup revolution actually no this one is from essence make me brow okay so i've been using this brow mascara 
for maybe seven or yeah around seven months i have some leftovers it's not super clean i'm not going to clean something that i'm going to throw away so when i use it it's actually taken off my hand cell it feels crazy that's why it's it's almost like it's not almost it's dry when i use it i see no difference like okay let me show it to you see just like no actual difference it's dry well i am gonna talk a little bit about some products that i might get close to project pan as well well i hit the pan of my wet and wild country palette uh, and i'm not even sure if i'm using this side of this pencil i'm just gonna declutter this probably i know that my break some rules or something but i just do not use this shade I ha i've never used this actually when i ordered this that's the problem that's the biggest problem when you order it online um when i was ordering the color range was a little bit different first i thought that this shade would be a little bit darker thanks god it didn't come darker shade so this one is my perfect match so another product that i'm almost out of is nyx uh, powder impressive because I'm still using this product. I'm not gonna get rid of this because I have a lot of the product, but I'm on the mission. And I guess then in two weeks, I'm gonna be out of this product for sure. And another product that I'm almost out of is from Probase Moisturizing Primer, more Makeup Academy. Um, I guess one more week and I'm out of this product. I have some just tiniest leftovers from my NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte Longwear setting spray. I don't know, for maybe two or three weeks as well. And NYX Prove It, Professional Makeup Prove It Eyeshadow Primer. I know I mentioned this a couple of times on my channel that I'm almost out of this product, I'm almost out of this product. It's, it's for real. Like now, I'm for real. The formula is so dry. I used today for both of my eyes this product, but I'd say, look at this. It's just, it's it has to be like liquid and watery, but feels like extra creamy. And I had to scrape down all the sides to get at least this amount of my product. Yeah, maybe one more week and that's it. This project penny is really helping because I started using a lot of my pillows that I completely forgot about and I started using a lot of sheets, colors, my imagination is much better because I can definitely see from other palettes, from other shades what I would love to recreate. Yes, the next project pen video is going to be um, in maybe two or three weeks so stay tuned if you're interested but I really love this new routine this new technique because i can see what products are out what products i need to purchase what products i do not use and probably i have to declutter them so yeah it's really interesting how this simple things can work for you even if you don't expect them to work that good for you if it makes sense as always that's literally it i'm gonna see you in my next video love you guys Bye-bye.